Hey, welcome to Wartime Radio. This is Officer Yawanathan. On my left, Officer Claya. On my right, Officer Aton. Hey, and our reader today, Officer Yanashan. Hey, all praises. Hey, welcome back to the battlefield. Today's topic is Are you a good parent? <laughs> are you a good parent? Everybody says yes. Yes. It's not me, it's my bad chillings. Dang. We're going to prove that today. We're going to deal with that thing. Yeah, we're going to deal with that today. We're going to sh- give you the biblical answers on how to raise your children correctly. Because, um, you know, people always say they're the child of God, and but I be seeing the child of the devil. Look, and they children. Yes. They, hey, they the child of the devil, and so is the kids. <laughs> 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 hey, let's start off with, with Ruth 4 and 1. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. The Bible is the book of the commandments of God. This is the word of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. How long? Forever. I like that word. Forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. We're going to come back to life. We're going to rise back up as a mighty nation. Read. But such as leave it shall die. Shall what? Shall die. And we all want to live. Jump down to verse 4. Verse 4. O Israel. That's you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. Happy are we for things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. Guess what? Our eyes have been opened. We have been given the understanding to come out and teach our people and help guide them back to being Better parents. That's right. Because if we were good parents, we wouldn't be in this condition that we are today. That's right. Because our forefathers failed us. And that's why we're here. We're here and we're suffering. So let's get straight to the point. Hey, give me uh, Psalms chapter 78. We'll start with verse 1. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 78 and verse 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. To his what? To my law. Guess what? God got laws on how you should raise your children, how you should choose a wife, how you should choose a husband, Mm -hmm. because that's where it starts at first. Choosing your wife, choosing your husband. Stop making these babies on the side. Read. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Give give ear to what? My law. Uh Uh-huh. Read. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Jump down to verse 4. Verse 4. We will not hide them from their children. Well, we will not what? Hide them from their children. We shouldn't hide these laws from our children. Right. How should we raise them if we, you know, if we don't teach them the law? No, shoot, they be thinking it's too... Oh, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll let them grow up, let them make their mistakes, and then when it's too late, then you want to try to do something. Right, we're raising our kids. <laughs> We've been raising our kids off of cartoons. <laughs> right. <laughs> off of cartoons in the playground. Bruh. Straight off of the kids are t- kids today are raised straight off of the cell phone. Yeah, you know it they is got, right there. You know how they got them shirts that say straight out of this city and straight out of they need to buy some shirts and put on their kids that say raised straight out of an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> straight out of Android. Right. <laughs> hey, it's a shame when your kids be little two years get your phone and next thing you know, they all up in your uh, passwords and everything. You be like, yeah. Whoa. How, how did how did well, how they learn that? Right. You tell me a child can get on the phone and start operating it. But that's too soon to teach them God's laws, though. Right. That's too oh, that's soon, crazy. according to our people. Right. Hmm. Read that from the top again. Psalms chapter seventy-eight and verse four. 
We will not hide them from their children, showing to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength. And his what? And his strength. Because we we think we got a soft God. Mm -hmm. We got a God that will put a vengeance on you for breaking his laws. Mm -hmm. He will give you that mighty butt whipping. (laughs) And his wonderful works that he hath done. Hey, we that's one thing we definitely need to find out. It's all the wonderful things that the Most High God did for us because, you know, we some um, ungrateful children. Yeah, ungrateful and forgetful. Right. And stiff-necked and rebellious children. That's it. That's us. If we stiff-necked and rebellious, the Most High the one that told us that we was. That's it. So how, why would our kids be great? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like you said, they won't be. They won't be without these laws. Nah. Read the next verse. Verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob uh-huh. and appointed a law in Israel, Read. which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. They should make them known to who? Their children. Ah, so we got to make these laws known to our children. So <laughs> look, look, right off the bat, if you ain't teaching your child God's laws, you are not the parent that this is talking about. Right. Yeah, you're not good. You're not a good parent. Not that's, good. that's what the topic is, right? <laughs> exactly. You're not a good parent. That, that that's something that we well, just gotta say it. We have to establish that. You are not the topic is what does the topic are mean? you a good are parent? Are you a good no. parent? No. <laughs> We're gonna answer your question. No, you are not a good parent. No. Because to be a good parent means to be walking in God's laws, statutes, and commandments, and like the officer just brought out, to be teaching that to your children. When we look into society today, we could tell that there are there are very few good parents. The good parents are in this truth. Right. This is what a good parent said. When we look at it in the world, we can see there ain't no good parents out there. We have a society full of monsters out there right now. What about little JoJo that was selling dope and died? He was a monster. A monster? But they say he going to heaven. He got wings. He was a monster <laughs> raised by a monster. <laughs> right. It just, it just it makes no sense. So I know we're going to dive into it, but to answer your question, no. And you need to pay attention. You are not a good parent. And we're going to mm-hmm. find out what it means to be a good parent. Parent. I love it. I love it. Hey, let's start off with 1 Timothy 5 and 14. Because, you know, right now, most of the children belong to the mothers. So, hey. And that's fine. another big issue. <laughs> right. Right. That is, shoot, goodness. <laughs> goodness gracious of life. You just said it. That's a big issue because the children belong to the mothers. It's not supposed to be like that. Nah, it's not supposed it to be like that. 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. I will, therefore, that the younger women marry. No, 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 brother. They too young to be getting married. That the younger women marry. Why are they shacking up? So if they, so if they in their twenties, and you know you got you got older women now telling the younger women that are old enough to be married. They say, no, 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 no. You need to, you need to test the waters, try them out, and then if you don't like them, push them to the side, then get married, and then find somebody else. That's the dumbest stuff I ever heard in my life. Right, uh, right. You sure they don't say that the younger women get a baby daddy? I will, therefore, that the younger women marry. That means get a husband, (laughs) not no baby daddy. A husband, read. Bear children. Do what? Bear children. What about these women that want to be career-minded, don't want to have no children? Bear children. God said you're supposed to bear children, read. Guide the house. Do what? Guide the house. Oh, you're supposed to take care of home? You're supposed to wash them dishes, have your man clothes iron, you know, food on the table, you know, teach the children the laws. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to be guiding the house, not running the streets, not being no thought, not on Facebook all day long, not making no TikTok videos, but actually guiding the house. <laughs> Read. Guide the house. Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the last thing you want to be like, hey, man, I seen your wife on Facebook. She was twerking. Exactly. <laughs> that, man. Exactly. Look, look, I seen, look, they be now, now look, they ain't even telling their wives because the man ain't even around. They telling the child, the children at school, hey, man, your mama was on the talk, on the TikTok video. Right. Right. Exactly. I saw, the, I saw your mama on TikTok. Right. You got darn kids looking at people, mamas. Hey, I seen a little child today. Mama was twerking. The little child went and got a broomstick and 
Beat mama on the back. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, that's a darn shame. The child trying to correct the mom. It's supposed to be the other way around. Right, it's right. supposed to be the other way around. But that oh, that God, goes God. into that goes into like you said how people think the children belong to these mothers. Right. You know what I mean? That's that's not the case. You get a script. Yo, let's go. To, let's get that. Let's go to Proverbs uh uh seventeen and six. Proverbs seventeen and six. Let's just read that real quick. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 6. Children's children are the crown of old men. Uh Uh-huh. And the glory of children are their fathers. The glory of children are what? Their fathers. Not their mothers. Their Mm. fathers. Their fathers. That's that's why I told you to get married first. Hey, because the women will be quick. That's my baby. Yeah. Quick to say that. Ooh, you know, and that's, I hate that. that is the main thing we hear in our society. I was just writing some but when you look when we look at where we are now, it's 2021. The last 50 to 75 years has completely destroyed the black community with the single black mothers who think that they, the child is only hers. Bring it out, bro. It it, it shows because out the death rate of us in the, in our own neighborhoods is, is higher than any other community. Had somebody want to argue with me, with, I'm like, you cannot, you can't argue that. We kill each other at a at, at an enormous rate. Mm-hmm. But the last fifty to seventy five years, I would the last thirty five to forty years have been terrible. But when you look back into the 1950s and 1960s, our women they were still our men and women were still getting married. Like what, eighty percent or something like that? Exactly, they, somewhere they, like uh, somewhere, somewhere around like, that. It wasn't until the big nineties, the, the big crack era, is what kind of destroyed everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, from that era, we have we've been having we've been seeing over time children under the ages of 16, 15, 14 have babies. I remember I was in school, I was 12, 13. There was a twelve year old pregnant. Ooh. This was the and this was. The, the era that they refer to as the crack cocaine era. Because a lot of children's, a lot of our parents were right. into that, into, right. caught up in, in that particular element of life at the time. But it has destroyed us. So when th- this is this topic, it may seem like a light thing, but it's, it's not a light thing. This is the this is the backbone of our community, the children that we're raising. Right, right. And that, and that, and that goes into the fact that a lot of parents think they children when they get them. We think they belong to us. Our children do not belong to us. We were given a job. Most I gave us a job to do because the children belong to him. Let's get that. Uh, Psalms, Psalms 127 and 3. Let's see. Let's see. This is what it's supposed to be. Whenever we whenever we take things and do things the right way, according to God, this is, this is how it's supposed to be. We must think of it this way. But instead, our people done got to the point to destroy the whole nation by not taking care of our kids the right way. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 127 and verse 3. Uh-huh. Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord. Your children belong to God, not you. Three. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Read on. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, Three. so are children of the youth. So as the arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Read. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. It's a happy is the man to have a lot of children. Right. Now, these days, now you got, you got, you got men and women. They don't even want to have kids. Right. And hey, you hear a man to say, man, how many kids you got? He just dropped his head. Because you know why? He ain't happy about it. Right. He ain't happy about it because, for one, he's not married. He ain't married to the mama or whatnot or his children are in locked up in jail and everything else, so he can't even brag about his kids to his friends and people that he talked to. He right. can't even say nothing good about them. All oh, the women got him on child support. Right. Yep. That's <laughs> it. Read on. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. Uh-huh. They shall not be ashamed, uh-huh. but they shall speak with the enemy in the gate. And it says that they shall the children shall speak with the enemies in the gate is because they're going to be teaching the God, God's laws to the people and teaching against the evils of this world. That's what they're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. When it's that, that's why the father is going to be proud. That's why they're going to be happy. Because a child is going to be what God is, has made them to be with the laws, not in prison and killing their own brothers and sisters and crap. Hey, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But, you know, that ain't our how we people, move. <laughs> but the Negro, right. we know we do the opposite. Give me Isaiah 3 and 12. Dang, it is. 
It's just the hey, book. We always go in the opposite direction of where we should be going. That's right. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people. That's you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. You are the Israelites. Read. Children are their oppressors. The children are our what? Are their oppressors. They're not our pride and joy. Mm. Are their oppressors. That's who terrorize in your neighborhood. Our children. Right, you got women. Some of these women are scared to go to sleep at night because they own, they're afraid of their own what their own child might do. Yeah, and the kid in the house. Right. And they <laughs> don't, even, I don't even know what to say about that. And kids in the yeah, house terrorizing grandma, terrorizing mama. Hey, they you, got these uh, boys in gangs thinking they can buck up to their daddy. Hey, be, look, be making videos bragging that they don't knock out their daddy. If they, if, if they got daddies. Yeah, right. You're right. If they got daddies mm-hmm. oh, that are around. Because mm-hmm. you just you just said something in front of that statement that's real heavy. We got a lot of women that are uh, uh, they're struggling in these houses because there is no father figure there. Right. Mm-hmm. These kids running rampant through the house. Right. And a lot of times, you know, fathers get out of jail, come home, try to get in their kids' lives, and the hey, the woman have turned them against the fathers, and next thing you know, they bucking up against the man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're gonna challenge him. Perpetual cycle, man. Right. We're a dangerous a dangerous cycle. Read that from the top again. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, Mm -hmm. children are their oppressors. Read. And women rule over them. Who rule over them? Women rule over them. Hey, we got communities, apartments full, projects full of women ruling over these little bad children. And it don't say the man, nurse, because it's talking about the single single, uh, single mother household right here. Right. Just so you know. That's why that's there like that. It's it's not by accident. Read. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. What do they do? Cause thee to err. Why do they err? Because they wandered out of the way of this Bible. They wandered out of the way of understanding. They wandered Mm. out of the way of God's laws. Read. And destroy the way of thy path. What do they do? Destroy the way of thy Mm path. Because you know what? You can't tell them nothing. Nope. You can't tell them nothing and you... You know you can't tell them about the Bible. No. They don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. They, they out there struggling, kids out there buck wild, and here come the prophets of God with solutions. They don't want them, though. No, they, 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 they don't want the solution. They mm-hmm. want to con- They want to stay in the, I'm going to show you, they want to stay in the cycle. Read, read that, precept, that, that precept again, oh, my people. Mm-hmm. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err. Stop right there. This is the cycle. They which lead thee. Who's doing the leading? Right. Good point. Who's Break doing the, who's doing the leading? It should be up uh, this top this this within the same scripture. It's dealing with we're being oppressed by the children that are raised by these single mothers. It says, <clears throat> They which lead thee. Who are leading thee? The women. When you look into our society now, the women has the dominant role in everything. They make and, songs. And that is yeah. exactly independent women and all that. I can do a bad all by myself. Listen, Dang. it just this is the cycle and the system that we are caught up in. And but women don't want to change that system. Why? Because they're put in a position of power by our oppressor. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. put in a position to rule over the man by our oppressor, and they don't want to fix it. It's, it's saying it. Read it again. Oh my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. They cause us to error. Go in the wrong direction. Read on. And destroy the way of thy path. The way of thy path is what we just read when we started out with Psalms. The keeping of God's commandments, the keeping of the law. That is the way, but how are they destroying us? Now we got women prophetess and men, women men, women uh, ministers and evangelists oh, and all God. teaching against God's laws. Right. They're destroying the way that we should raise our children. And this is the reason why we have a society full of monsters today. It is. And we can read about it. That's, that's true. Like it's around 30. Go to Rock 30 and verse 8. Let's see what's going on with what these darn women are doing. We're going to read down a little bit, but we won't go through it real quick, though. Because like like Officer just said, man, the women, y'all want to stay like that. Y'all keep repeating the same thing. Sometimes you'll have a darn father that want to be in the child life, and they won't do it. Right. Bruh, we was at camp uh, Saturday, and the women came up, and the officer was dealing with the women. And 
as soon as we started dealing with the fact that woman came from man, it means of man. That's what the Bible says. That's now. what the Bible says. The Bible said that woman woman was made for man. God took the rib. He made a woman. Woman means of man. The women said, but a man need a woman. They're right, right to an extent. We need women to reproduce, take care of the house, guide right. the children that we're bringing out right now, and to play their role. As soon as he said that, guess what she said? What book you reading? The King James Bible. Oh, they they bought, had a heart attack because now, we, look now all of a sudden the Bible right the Bible is not true no more. Look, we was reading the Bible <laughs> from the jump right you know, right. But, but, but when you get you hit that point, oh what book y'all reading? The Bible. Oh lord, unbelievable. As Women, our y'all got to change that thing, man. Right. As our people, hey, read that. <laughs> this is the Book of Sirach, chapter thirty and verse eight. Really? Verse eight, and horse not broken becometh headstrong. Read. And a child left to himself will be willful. That's why they're afraid to go sleep. Mm -hmm. You didn't break that child when they was young. Now they are willful and doing what the heck they want to do, ready to bust you over the top of your head. Read. Conquer thy child, uh -huh. and he shall make thee afraid. You think everything is okay and cute? Mm -hmm. they, would they be like, oh, man, that was cute. People laugh at the at the dumb stuff. Well, we saw the video the bishop played mm -hmm. where you had the little girl talking trash to uh, Amon Shumper. This dude, six foot Five three hundred and fifty pounds walking around, and the and the little the house he paid for, and 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 she tell don't make me tell make my mama kick you out the house. You crazy? Who does that? And they laughing like it's cute. That man, please, we would have executed the first verse of this chapter. And we gonna read that later. Read on. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. And that's what's gonna happen. You play with your children when they grow up. They are gonna bring you to heaviness because all the stuff they was doing, they was young. Now they think they can get away with it when they old. And they are gonna run to the wrong person or the police, and they gonna either be dead or locked up. Right. Now you sitting there in heaviness and sorrow. Read. Laugh not with him. Don't play with your children. People play with their kids too much. This stuff ain't funny. Right. They think they friends. That's it. Everybody wanna be friends with they darn gonna kid. We're going to dress alike. We're going to be friends. We're going to go hang out. You get mamas, and next thing you know, they start going out to the club. Yeah, they in the daughter. club together with the daughter. Right. Twerking together. Twerking together on, on, on TikTok dog. videos. Sleeping, on, sleeping with the same man. Dang. That's a, oh, God. He, that's a whole nother level. He just, he just gave me a migraine. Right, right. He just stuck. Just stuck. I got stuck, bro. <laughs> Damn, Reed. <really. laughs> Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him. Uh-huh. And lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. And that's what you're going you're gonna to be sitting there like, <sighs> when your child walk out the door, you 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 so afraid that they're not going to make it back, you can't even be comfortable. Mm. Read. Is that it? Yeah, read. Give him no liberty in his youth. This is what we're supposed to do. Children, you people getting their children's cell phones. They, You know, they got different stuff like parent locks and stuff like that that you can allow certain stuff to even come on the phone. And our people don't use it. Nope, nope. They give them a phone, and they have full access to any and everything. Right. They don't. They give them all the freedom. You leave and go as you please. This said, give them no freedom in their youth. Read. And wink not at his follies. Don't play around with them when they do stuff wrong. It should be punishment. They have to learn that stuff. Read. Bow down his neck while he is young. That's what. That's what we gotta do. Because, look, most of our children don't know God. They don't know God at a young age, but they're supposed to know the fear of God from you. Their head is supposed to be bowed because you done punished them. Read on. And beat him on the sides. I didn't tell you where to give him a whooping at. It didn't say smack him and punch him all in the face, hit him across the, you know, in the eye and all this stuff. It said give him a whooping on the sides. Read. Is, is that the Bible you that, read? That's the Bible. Oh, Lord. That, the women said, oh, that was yeah, yeah, look, they done threw the Bible out the car while they riding on, listen to the radio show. The Bible ain't even on the dashboard no more. <laughs> the child said, all my life I've been beat. <laughs> <laughs> but look, you, yeah, look, when they get, become teenagers, you ain't got to worry about that if you do this at a young age like it's telling us to do. Right. You ain't got to worry about that. The stuff that you worried about, you won't have to worry about on that level. Read on. While he is a child. Uh-huh. Lest he wax stubborn. Because if you don't, they're going to be stubborn. Read. And be disobedient unto thee. Uh-huh. And so bring sorrow to thine heart. Because if you don't, they will be disobedient unto you and bring sorrow to your heart. Because they will be in prison and you'll be sitting there and saying, free my son. Free my daughter. You don't do women going to prison too. <laughs> hey, you said something deep about bringing and raising up these children. 
Hey, give me Proverbs 22 and 6. Yes, sir. Just to piggyback on that right quick. Hey, the Bible has solution to our problems. <laughs> Who knew? I just thought it was a, hey, we used to think it was just a nice book to read. You know, yeah. <laughs> nice stories. You got Psalms and Proverbs. You know, <laughs> know that you could use it to actually rule your children. Smooth than a must. Exactly. <laughs> Proverbs. <laughs> hey, read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 6. Train up a child. Do what? Train up a child. You know what? The same way you would train up your child to play football, basketball, cheerleading, how you put that work in to try to, you know, make them that professional athlete. Mm -hmm. You got to train up your child to be a child of God. Right. You got to put in work because, you know, if you don't, the street's going to raise him. They're going to train him up to be a little thug. Hey, a little thought, a little dope dealer. They don't got we don't got plenty of that training. Mm -hmm. Some of us right here in this room had perfect training. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Not no more. That's, oh, that's, that's the point, right? Not, Not no, no more. No more. <laughs> I had the streets trained me to be a whoremonger. I was the man. See, that's the thing, and they probably think we sitting here with these Bibles like we like we was perfect coming up. No. We we too was foolish, like like the scripture says. But you know what? We read the Bible. You gotta actually read it. When you read it and ask most of understanding, he gives it to you. Then you know what? You apply it and you change. Right. It's that simple. Right. That's it. Read. Start from the top again. Train up a child in the way he should go. Uh huh. And when he is old, he will not depart from when it. That child get up in age. Guess what? That's gonna be that avenger. Right. That's going to be that child that's going to walk proudly, stand strong in the Lord. He ain't going to be swayed by the streets. Hey, she won't be swayed by her friend girls mm -hmm. to act like a thot. Yeah, they ain't going to follow that multitude because you done taught right. them not to do so. Right. right. That's how you raise up a child. You raise that child up in God's laws. You know, raise up that child, and, and guess what? You're going to have something to be proud of. You're going to have a child that you know what you can look at and say, you know what? That boy all right. That boy all right. And you know what? That's all you want him to do. You want that child to keep your good name, mm -hmm. to keep your name. Yeah. Matter of fact, give me that Sirach 41. Uh, I think it's verse 12. Because you know what? A child can ruin your name. Hmm. They say, oh, God. You know that's Kalaya's son down there. <laughs> <laughs> Why Kalaya is shaking his head. Shit, cause you know, yeah, yeah, that, that's my that's my son. He, yeah. I think I think I I think his mama was sl was running around. That would happen. I don't know, cause I swear he ain't got my genes. I, <laughs> you know, I wasn't doing that. Read. This is the book of Sirach, chapter forty one and verse twelve. Have regard to thy name. Mm, you got to teach that child to have regard to that name, mm -hmm. cause that, your name, hey, in Israel, that's all you got. Cause we slaves in this world. But you can build up a good name. You can build up a good reputation. Mm -hmm. So you got to train up that child to regard your name. You know, hey, this is the house of Yasharala. Don't act no fool. Don't make me act up. Don't make me get out of line. Because mm -hmm. I will. He said, hit him on the side. Yeah. You know what that verse said? Hit him on the side. He said, how hard? Uh, it didn't say how hard. Oh, all hey, praises. Look, as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> all praises. Hey, keep reading. For that shall continue with thee above a thousand great treasures of gold. Wow. You see how a name is? A name can be more valuable than gold. Right. Mm. Read. A good life hath but few days. Uh-huh. But a good name endureth forever. How long? Forever. Hey, you got to train up your children. And you know what that means, though? For a lot of you parents out there, that means that you have to start under getting an understanding of the scriptures. That's what you got to do because all through the Bible is saying, train your child up, teach your children God's laws. Let me get, mm -hmm. let me get a scripture when you're done. Go ahead. Get, give me uh, Exodus 18 and 20. Exodus 18 and 20. Because I tell you what, before you get that verse, let's take us go to intermission. We'll come back with it. Hey, we're going to take a five minute break. And what what's the music today? Who who we bringing out? Oh, we got fervent heat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. we 
got the fervent heat. Who's that by? Fervent heat, the quest, the quest. Ooh, Praises. That's Detroit, Michigan. Eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, Detroit in the house. I love them brothers. Hey, we're gonna take a five minute break, and we'll be right back with you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No place to hide. No place to hide, no place to low. We travel the world just to teach our people. No matter how far, no matter how close, we teach in this word so the gospel can reach you. No place to hide, no place to low. We travel the world just to teach our people. No matter how far, no matter how close, we teach in this word so the gospel can reach you. No yeah. mountain too high, no valley too low. If we waking up Jacob, then you know where I'm trying to go. We plant seeds, then I'm trying to sow. I'm trying to sow. And put my life on the line for the tribes like Geronimo. The Lord turning men into gold. As this story unfold, truth turn friend into foes. Young bro, shot by the cops. Only 12 years old. Negroes fighting for blocks. We all fighting for souls. We got our boots on the ground. Big city, your small town. If you come up against us, then we shutting you down. If you ain't bought your father's business, we don't need them around. To us, a leader's a verb. To them, a leader's a noun. We trying to reform your thoughts. Even teaching in different languages, we counted the cost. And already know that it's dangerous, but we don't even care. Cause we risking it all to wake our brothers up, scatter the bro. No place is too high, no place is too low. We travel the world just to teach our people. No matter how far, no matter how close, we teaching this word so the gospel can reach you. No place is too high, no place is too low. We travel the world just to teach our people. No matter how far, no matter how close, we teaching this word so the gospel can reach you. Japan ain't far enough. We a set sell if there was a man in that article. Girl bands in Sahara with dust. Where you at? Who we call? Plain van car truck. Jacob kids are waking in and taking this true worldwide. If you say we crazy, then you twist it like some curl fries. When I look into my girl eyes, I see she see the truth. We teach and reap the fruit. Now she see the sheep and groups. How you I see being true. Y'all's armor will rise up. Enslaving all the nations. That be hating and despise us Now we on our third quest Four countries in eight days It's true you heard that We own the ship so make way Coming back the same way We was wrong and made slaves Captain screaming Mayday Mayday they back again Yes this really happening Hell no nah, we ain't African We the Israelites this Israelite We rest and bring the Sabbath in No matter how far we have to go Welcome back to Wartime Radio. Oh, shoot. Hey, hey. You know, it's some funny things going just don't on know. out there. We're going to let that go. I know you don't. I know you don't understand what's going on right now. We thought we, but we do. We, but we do. We thought we was in we ATL. We thought we was in there. <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to Atlanta. 
<laughs> all praises to Most High. Hey, all praises. Hey, uh, <laughs> you was getting ready to bring out a verse. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in reference to the fact that what I what I what these parents have to do, the name of the show is "Are You a Good Parent?" We've answered your question. Hell no, you're not a good parent. What you need to do now is jump into the scriptures and learn how to apply God's laws. Learn God's laws and teach them to your children. And we're going to read that right here in uh, Exodus chapter 18 and verse 20, and then get me Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 9. This is the book of Exodus chapter 18 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk. And the work that they must do. Now, this work is dealing with what? The keeping of God's laws, statutes, and commandments. But the point that I want to point, what I'm pointing out here is the top part. I read it again. And thou shalt teach them ordinances uh -huh. and laws. Ordinance and laws. Come on. And shalt show them the way wherein they must walk. Uh huh. And the work that they must do. Now, get me Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 9. All right, go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 9. Only take heed to thyself uh -huh. and thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, uh -huh. and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. Three. But teach them thy sons uh -huh. and thy sons' sons. So read that one more time from the top. Mm. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. So keep thy soul with what? How, how are we going to keep ourselves? We're going to keep ourselves stayed in God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read on. Lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, uh -huh. and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. Lest what depart from our hearts? Our heart and when we're dealing with the scriptures, it's talking about our mind. Lest what depart from our mind? Lest God's laws depart from our minds. We can look into society and see God's laws have departed from our mind. Right, right. God, God's laws have not been implemented and planted in our minds since we came out of slavery. Our minds have been far removed from the keeping of the law, statutes, and commandments. But we can read now. Now, once we learn to read, we must remember who we are, keep God's laws, and read on and do what? But teach them thy sons. Teach them who? Thy sons. Come on. And thy son's son. Why? Because as we read earlier that the women are now leading, we need to teach these laws to our sons and our son's sons because they are the leaders. Right. They're the future leaders of our generation. They're the future leaders of our people. If they don't know God's laws, then they're constantly out there murdering each other, robbing, stealing, getting put in prison. This is how we change our community. This is how we change our state of uh, living here in this country. And we will. Right. With or without you, we will. And them sons become fathers. Exactly. Right. Because it didn't say, it, it, like it said, teach thy sons and thy sons' sons. Uh -huh. Because these are men. Like he, like always just said, they are the leaders. They are not the women. The women are not the leaders. The men are the leaders. So those sons must be brought up to be leaders. And obviously I mentioned it earlier about them being Avengers. Right. You know what I mean? You had a script. You were going to go somewhere? Oh. You know what I wanted to do? You know, I wanted to touch on the parents who say, you know what, I want to teach my child. Mm -hmm. I want to teach my child, but what if he don't want to learn? Mm -hmm. What if he just, you know what, he don't want no part of this truth? Hey, we're going to show you what happened to the children back in the day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Before, uh -oh. Christ, before <laughs> exactly. Christ bought that grace and mercy, hey, let's get the law what happened to our children. Uh -oh. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 18. There it is. Don't get mad, because we're reading the Bible. Mm. That's it. <laughs> Dang. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, 21, and verse 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. You know that child that don't want to listen, don't want to do nothing you say. Hey, because that will be majority of the youth right now today. You see what it said, though? If a what? If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. That lets you know what? Ain't dealing with the women. Hey, that the children always belong to the man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what it's telling you. Read. Which will not obey the voice of his father. Now the voice of his mother. His father. Mm -hmm. Read. Or the voice of his mother. Uh -huh. And that when they have chastened him. Will not hearken unto them. So when that, hey, we don't try to correct him. We don't try to give him the laws. You don't whoop them on the sides. You done did all of that. Gave him that nice little beating on the side. 
he still want to buck up. What's the next step? Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him uh-huh. and bring him out unto the elders of his city. You know, uh, you know that what's that village? Mm-hmm. They go to village. Right. Bring a, a, hey, black people love to say that too. It takes a village to raise these kids. But soon, right. soon okay. as you say something to their child, they you can't, look, look, don't be taking them telling my kid what to do. Right. <laughs> Unbelievable. It don't make no sense. <laughs> right. You, you you a contradiction of your own mouth. Right. Words coming out of your mouth. Mm, come on. Read. And unto the gate of his place. Uh-huh. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, this our son is stubborn and rebellious. Read. He will not obey our voice. Read. He is a glutton and a drunkard. He love to get turned up. Hey, in other words, in the black community, you, this is what you always, I know because my mama said it to me. She said, you don't want to do nothing but eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom. You know, you know what you it is. You did, that is. You know what it is. <laughs> That's what this child right here is. Hey, <laughs> hey the Bible telling on the same. <laughs> Read. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones. No, hit him with some flowers. Stone him with stones. <laughs> Give him some kisses on the cheek. Stone him with stones. Send him in the room with his Xbox and PlayStation 4 and tell him he's he he, he, he gonna he gonna take it from him if he don't get right. Right. Stone him with stones. Okay, no Xbox. Um put him on timeout. Stone him with stones. Mm. Mm. Read. That he die. What? That he die. He had to go. That he die. Mm. See, the, the, see, see, y'all don't, y'all really, this, this is why, <laughs> y'all don't want to read the Bible. This is why you're scared to read this book here, because this book got some real correction in it. That's it. Huh? That's it. If it was not for Christ, well, it'd be some dead behind children in our neighborhoods, man. So, well, look, hey, how would the city be after he gone? Finish up that verse. So shalt thou put evil away from among you, uh-huh. and all Israel shall hear and fear. And what? And fear. The Most High wants you to fear him. Mm-hmm. Hey, that was how it was back in the day. And guess how it's going to be when Christ returns. And that's the thing. They, that's they think right. that's not going to happen oh, when Christ Oh, no, we're we going, we going back to that. There it is. We're going back to that. You know why? Because it's, it's like this. If if I had, if I had this, if we the elders of the city and we stoned my son in Columbia, I guarantee you the way Negroes talk, and within an hour, without cell phones, everybody from Columbia to Spartanburg will know that that child got put to death for being rebellious. Mm-hmm. And you know what? The, our communities would change. Yeah, We would see change in our communities if this was implement, being implemented today. Mm-hmm. Right. So, hey, you know, just the same way that uh, Most High showed us mercy, showed us grace, Time to get right. Right. You know what? We're gonna have to do the same thing with our children. We're gonna have to be patient. Hey, so give me Sirach twenty and thirty-two. Well, I mean, we can't bust you in the head right now, but after Christ get back, uh, I, don't, I like that beating on the side. <laughs> 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 hey, bring it out. This is the Book of Sirach, chapter twenty and verse thirty-two. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. So we have to have patience. Because, hey, that patience is what's going to, you know, because like I say, we most impatient people. Because, you know, we always in a hurry. We ain't we ain't got time for nothing. And, we, hey, we ain't going to give our children, hey, you better get right today. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, our kids, just like you, still sitting there battling, wondering if we sitting there teaching right, still wondering if you're an Israelite, you know what? You're going to have to give your child time to learn these laws and, and and don't get that patience twisted that he ain't saying punishment don't come with that that's not what he's saying what he's saying is look we understand our children gonna do different stuff but at the same time we ought to correct them no we ain't gonna kick them out the house and all of that at least at least at least not as long as they within legal age right now once you get up in grown status and you don't want to do what what the bible say what we telling you to do you gotta go Right, mm-hmm. but you know, in the midst of why the children, you're trying to help them change their ways, but this is how you do it. We finna read it. You had another script. Oh, oh, go ahead, let's get that. Sirach thirty and verse one. Hey, we was on the. Hey, we in the spirit. No, that's this. This is the patience that we gotta have. We still have to punish them. We still have to do so. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter thirty and verse one. Uh-huh. He that loveth his son. Causeth him off to feel the rod. If you do not whoop your children, you hate your child. Mm. The Bible just said if you love them, you will make them oft 
to feel the right meaning. They gonna be getting whoopings often. All the dang gone time. So that patience that you get, look, we understand our children gonna do stuff, but that don't mean you you turn a blind eye. I remember we read earlier, you don't wink at their folly. Right. You don't do that. The patience that you have, you understand, all right, look, while they're young, I gotta teach them. So you gotta have the patience to still deal with them. You gotta endure that stuff. But at the same time, you have to do what God says. But once they get up in age, all that go out the door. Ain't no more whoopings. You old enough, you got to go. Right. Read. That he may have joy of him in the end. Because like officer was saying earlier, then you're able to have joy of your children in the end. Don't nobody want to talk about their child and, and, and like you ask, hey, brother, you got any kids? And then right. brother head right. go down. Taking the deep, the deep sigh and crap. Look, don't nobody want to do that. But <laughs> right. because you didn't whoop your child, that's why you doing that. Hey, I'm going to tell you, do not let your enemies tell you how to discipline your child. You better do what the most high say. Give me Proverbs 23 and 13. Because if you love your child, you're going to do this. Now they want to put your children on, uh, what's that, hyper medicine, Ritalin, and all that stuff. Right. Or whatever in the world they want to say. Man, please. Put them on the Bible. Look, I ain't even that old, and we wasn't even on that stuff. No, man. Now, all of a sudden, it's all over the place. You know why? Because they, 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 they put them on that. They say he, he's hyperactive or something like that. Ain't yeah, he? they like he's hyper. You know why these kids so hyper? Because they're Cause playing video they're games. They're playing video games. Get that behind <laughs> our side and ride a bike, climb right. a tree, something. <laughs> Dang. You can, I always knew where my friends was coming up. You know why? I would, I would, I would ride down the block. We, they could have been playing for 30, 40 minutes. I ride down the block, and look, I'm looking for bikes. Wherever the bikes <laughs> was at, that's where everybody was at. <laughs> they don't. You ride down the street now, you don't see bikes. No, no, I don't even own bikes no more. No, that's bad. <laughs> that's why they got all that energy. You need to get outside. Get out the house. Right. Hey, read that. Start verse thirteen. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty three and verse thirteen. Withhold not correction from the child. God said don't withhold that correction from the child. Don't let DSS tell you you can't put your hands on your child. Mm -hmm. You better listen to God. Mm -hmm. Read. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. So if I hit him on that side, he ain't going to die. You ain't going to kill him. He ain't going to fall out. Must be thinking today, hey, look, you you have mothers. (laughs) You have mothers. Get on the fathers because they're punishing the child. And the mother will say, don't do that to my child. Huh? Bruh. The child ain't going to die. Right. Listen. I'm telling you, man. It's freaking crazy. I had, to, I had to put that rod to my son's thigh one time. I hit him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> the face. The I, face, bro. I can't look over there at you, man. I hit him so hard, bro. I knew I hit him hard. I knew it. <laughs> The brother rolled over and did this. <laughs> but look, he did not hey, die. He did not die. He ain't die. But, bro, he played dead for three minutes with his eyes blinking like this. He was like, please don't hit me no more. <laughs> oh, hey, shoot. Read the next verse. Verse 14. Thou shalt beat him with the rod uh-huh. and shalt deliver his soul from hell. You going to do what? Deliver his soul from hell. Man, you're going to save that boy from going to hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that hell is that a hell is on earth. Right. Yes. Prison is hell. Prison is hell. hell. Exactly. Being in gangs is hell. hell. Going to work every day is being a servant is hell. We in hell. Right. That's but right. he's going to be in a worse of a hell. Right. I'm telling you, man. Hey, you you won't kill your kid. <laughs> I said he played dead. He played three dead. Minutes. For three minutes, <laughs> eyes blinking like this. <laughs> Hey, Joe, go back. Go, what you doing with that? Also? No, go, ahead. go back to 30. Go back to Sirach 30. Verse, uh, verse 2. Verse 2. Sirach chapter 30 and verse 2. Uh-huh. He that chastiseth his son shall have joy in him Read. and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintances. Then when people ask you, hey, yo, yo, you got any children? Man, yeah, I got some children. Shoot, look, my son, my son is married. He got three kids. They keeping the, the commandments. Him and his wife is doing well. Oh, my daughter. My daughter is married. She doing well. She got an education. He got an education. Oh, everybody doing good. You can brag. You want to brag about your children around your friends, but you can't do that if you ain't teaching them right. You you won't do that. You will then have the heavy countenance that officer was talking about earlier, man. Dang, mm-hmm. that, is, that is crazy. Uh, go to uh, read down to verse, uh, jump to five. No, verse four, verse four. No, dang, three. We got to do it. You got to do it. Verse three. Verse three. 
He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Uh -huh. So when he says grieveth, the word grieveth, meaning you make them sorrow. The enemy, our oppressor sorrow whenever you teach your children. And the reason why is because they understand they cannot get to your child unless they go through you because you're doing what you, but not putting them in front of the TV. You got them outside, not on the video game all day. You putting them to work. So it grieves them because they will not be able to mess up the minds of your child. Read. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Read on. Though his father died, mm -hmm. yet he is as though he were but not, were he not dead. Uh-huh. For he hath left one behind him that is like himself. Because that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be that when you die, your children are supposed to be a reflection of you. But you have people that's on their on their deathbed and trying to hang on every little bit because they don't want to go because they know how evil their children are. Hmm. It ain't supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a, that you're going to be dead and you'll die in peace because you understand what you've done and how you raised your children. You're not worried about them. You ain't worried about them. Read. While he lived, uh -huh. he saw and rejoiced in him. Uh -huh. And when he died, and when he died, he was not sorrowful. We ain't going to be sorrow. We ain't going to be full of sorrow whenever we, when it's time for us to press that dying pillow. Mm -hmm. We're going to be all right because we understand our children going to be all right. right. Read. He left behind him an avenger. That's the West what officer said. A person that's going to get revenge for you. An avenger is somebody that gets revenge for you. So while you getting beat down in life, but if you trained up your child, they going to beat down those that beat you down because they're going to be successful. Right. They will be successful. Not just, uh, we ain't talking about in money and stuff like they're going to be keeping God's laws and help raise up our people. That grieves the enemy. That's, that's right. revenge because all of us going to get that revenge when Christ come back. Read that, finish that off, and that's it. Against his enemies. And one that shall requite kindness to his friends. He's going to requite kindness to it. He's going to show that brotherly love to his people. He's going to marry his own people. He's going to be with his own people, take care of his own people. That's who his friends are, his own people. And you don't have to worry about them going against their own people. So you're able to go ahead and die in peace. And that's what, and that's all any parent <clears throat> wants. Right. right. And I'm going to tell you, hey, when you uh, come to serve the Lord, you know, you're going to have to prepare yourself. You got to get your mind right. Because you got to you got to be the example for your children because, hey, the children are going to follow you. They're going to look at your example. Give me a Ciroc 2 and 1. Because that's going to be the toughest battle. You know, this, this is not a 100-yard dash. This is a marathon. So we got to always, always keep our mind on the Lord and keep our mind on this word. Read. This is the book of Ciroc, chapter 2 and verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord... Prepare thy soul for temptation. Do what? Prepare thy soul for temptation. Hey, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be tempted in this truth. You know when, <clears throat> where that temptation going to come from? Your family. Your family members are going to be tempting you. because They're going to say you in a cult. Hey, you don't, You got your child. You don't let him celebrate Christmas no more and Easter no more. Yeah. Hey, you doing all this and that. They're going to be trying to pull you out. They're going to be trying to cause division amongst your kids, turn your kids against them. But you're going to have to constantly endure in this truth. Read. Set thy heart aright. So set your heart right. Get your mind right when you come in this truth. You're going to have to stay focused on the prize. And that prize is the kingdom of heaven. Read. And constantly endure. And do what? And constantly endure. You're going to have to constantly endure. We got to make sure that, hey, you know what? We able to handle everything that come our way. And how are you going to do that if you ain't studying? How are you going to do that if you ain't got your mind, your face in this book? They can't. How they is can't. your child going <clears> to <throat> constantly endure? Because he's going to have little kids constantly trying to tempt him. Yep. Hey, we going to Halloween party. You want to go? Then, mm -hmm. like, then they child start, start making up ways to, to get out the house now. Right. See, that's the, and that's the thing. Like Coming up, our parents, if you're over 35, I would say, 30, I'll give y'all 31, 32, maybe, <laughs> if you had a, a decent parent, because it still wasn't that good. Coming up, our parents kind of tried to groom us before the world had a chance to, to to really jump on us. Now, granted, they didn't have the, our parents didn't know laws, God's laws, statutes, and commandments. They didn't know how to apply them. Some of them went to church and, you know, had a spirit to learn the Bible, but didn't have the understanding of the spirit that the Bible needs us to have in order for us to teach our children how to go out into the world and function as, 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 as mentally sound 
uh, individuals in God's law, statutes, and commandments. So today we don't have that. That means a lot of these parents, they grew up in a condition similar to their children. Now, just think about it. I said that I was 12 years old, right. 13 years Somebody old, had a baby. and she had a baby. Sure. You know how old them kid, You know how old mm. that uh, 12 year old's daughter is right now? She's like 29, 30 years old. I'm telling my age. Yeah. I think I'm telling yeah. my age. Well, it, all this, this, but listen, <laughs> <laughs> that child that I saw have a child that that child that she had is now about 20, 28, 29 years old. What do you look at what she's growing up in? Same look at the society she's growing up in. Society. So what does she teach her children? The same thing that she saw her mama did. Her mama went to school with me. I know what she did. So this is it's, it's a process that our parent these parents have to learn to come mm. back. They first have to say, you know what? I gotta study God's laws and teach them to my children. Yep. You need to teach your parents too, because they your parents and your grandparents. None of y'all learned the laws. You need to repent. You know what I mean? Come back to repent. Come back to this Bible, man. That's the only way to fix the community, bro. That's it. That's it. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, hey, sometimes when the kids is bad, hey. A lot of single mothers, you know, got these children in this truth, and you know they trying to force their kids to come in this truth. Hey, sometimes you got to let them go, baby, and be with their daddy. Their daddy want to be in the world, let them go. Yeah. Because what good is it for you to have unprofitable children? Mm. Hey, give me that Sirach sixteen and verse one. And that's it. You you read about that, yeah. but that's why you read earlier. You train that child up in the way that they should go because. They're going to go off. Right. They're going to fall. Some of them are going to go off. Like All of them ain't going to go off, but some of them are going to go off back into the nonsense living in the world. But if you taught them the right things according to God, as they get older, like you said, they'll remember those things. But if they don't, it become unprofitable. Hey, here you go. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 16 and verse 1. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children. Hey, don't desire to have a bunch of kids, you know, trying to hold on your kids, and they bad as hell, don't want this truth, and, uh, and you still want to try to hold on to them. Hey, sometimes you, you got to let them go. Kill them. Right. Exactly. The same child that we kill know, them. We know, some, we know some, some of that, some activities like that that yeah. have taken place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holding on to wicked kids, and the wicked child killed them. Right. Read. Right. Neither delight in ungodly sons. Hey, stop making your kids your idols. Right. And that's what a lot of times we do. Oh, I love my baby, and baby wicked as hell. Unbelievable. Mm. Read. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, Uh except the fear of the Lord be with them. Unless they're keeping these laws. That's the only time you should have joy in your (laughs) children. That's it. That's it. That's it. So they don't want to keep the commandments. Oh, oh, well. Right, right. <laughs> I got kids right now that don't want to keep the laws. I love them. Me too. But I ain't. Me too. It is what it is. Hey, I go see you, say, hey, let's say, where the grandbabies at? Because mm-hmm. I hope the grandbabies might one day, you know what, bring them with me. <laughs> I'm going to see if they want to keep these laws. Three. <laughs> Trust not thou life. Not, let me read again. Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude. Three. For, for one that is just is better than a thousand. Hey, it's, it's better to have one good child than a thousand wicked ones. Exactly. <laughs> Read. And better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. Ooh, damn. So it's better. Maybe, maybe that's what they mean when they say they don't want to have kids. Right. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they understand. No, nope. that they didn't go. No, nope, I ain't giving it to them. They don't want to have no kids because they don't want the responsibility that of is. taking care of one. And right. they want they want a hot girl summer. That's it. That what they want. That's it. That's yeah. it. What's that? What's that? Hot girl summer will have you. What's the post that? <laughs> hot girl summer will have you a single winner. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, that thing is bad. A, a, cold, a cold, a cold single winter. That's cold. Hey, read that last part again. And better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. You know why I was said that? Because guess what? Christ came to set division. Yep. He said the enemy will be them of your own household. Yep. Let's get that in Matthew chapter 10. Dang. That's it. Mm. Hey, and I see, I see kids right in the congregation. Looking like they the devil in their parents' house. Hey, we're going to bring this one last quick verse out. Verse 
37. Yeah. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 37. Uh-huh. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Read. Uh-oh. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So if you love your children more than you love God, if you don't want to keep God's laws, you are not worthy of of God and keeping, and when it says love, putting them before Christ, right? You so are you not a good, a good parent, parent if you do not teach them God's laws. Hey, and with that, we're gonna say shalom. This has been Officer Yuanathan, and on my left, Officer Kalaya, and on my right, Officer Aton. Hey, this has been Wartime Radio with WPJM 800 AM. Hey, you can uh, get this every Wednesday at five o'clock. With that, we say shalom. 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 Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina. For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.